Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add categories to WordPress in 2024. So we're delving into a foundational aspect of organizing your content. How to add categories in WordPress in 2024. Which is categories of course play a crucial role in structuring your website and making it easy for visitors to navigate through your content. So stick around as I guide you through this the step-by-step -step process of adding categories to your WordPress site. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and log in into your WordPress dashboard. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Just go to this URL section at the top right corner, type word Press, so wordpress.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen or main screen, of course, of your website. If it's your first time, you'll be taken to something like this as an example. And you'll find here at the top right corner option, a login option to log into your account or get started at the top right again to create an account or here in the middle below this WordPress your way to create an account. If you don't know nothing about WordPress, you can scroll down to read more information about it, to familiarize yourself or just have a general idea about it. And you can see the prices, the plans, uh, the features that come with each plan, you can pause the video and read it all by your own. And once you're logged into your account, you'll find yourself on a dashboard like this. So here, you will have to go navigate into the categories section. Where you will find it, just go to this left panel as an example. Go to appearance right here. And, oh, sorry, not uh, appearance. You'll have to go to post and then click on categories. This will take you to the categories section right away. And of course, this is where you will create and manage the categories for your content. So in this categories page, you will see an option to add a new category. And as you can see, you'll be able to enter the name of the new category if you want to assign it uh, a slug. A URL, uh, URL, of course, friendly version of name. And you can also choose a parent category if you're creating a subcategory if you want to. Uh, of course, before even like doing anything, so let's just start by entering a name. You can, uh, as I said, enter the name of your category, and you can also choose the parent category if you're using subcategory. You can give it a slug, so I'll just give it a taste in here. Is it a parent category, uh, none, or in categorize, whatever you want? For me, I'll just leave it as none, and you can add description to it, so I'll just add whatever it is. And, this. and of course, before saving, you can, of course, set the category slug. And what is the category slug? It is the URL, of course, which is the URL friendly version of the category name. Additionally, you can provide a brief description, as we said. And this is, well, this, of course, information can be displayed on your website depending on your theme settings. So just go, as an example, once you finish, click on add new category. And with your category created, it's time to assign it to your post. When you're creating uh, or editing a post, you'll find the categories meta box uh, on the right side. Check the box next to the category that you want to assign the post to and the category will be applied. As you can see for me now, I have two categories, one test, one in categorize. This is like um, with default, so I will not be able to remove it or something like that. And this, of course, I'll be able to delete it or edit it, quick edit it or view it or edit it, whatever I want. Of course, this slug that comes with this. If I click on view as an example, I'll be taken to a random page. And as you can see, you'll be able to see categories test that is assigned to one of my posts right there or how it will look like. And of course, you can now edit or once you assign categories to posts, you can always go back, to go back to your categories and as an example, edit or delete these categories. If you need to make changes to your categories, you can easily do so. Navigate back to categories, posts, categories, and section. And of course, you'll see the list of your categories right here. However, just hover over a category to reveal the options, as you can see. And you'll be able to edit it, quick edit it, delete it, or view it, as we saw before. And be cautioned with the deletion, as it may affect the post assigned to that category. And as a best practice, of course, use categories wisely to create a logical, like, user-friendly structure on your website. Think about the main topics or themes for your or of your content and create categories that reflect these areas. This helps both you and the visitors find content more efficiently. 
And once you've added categories and assigned them to posts, visit your website to see how the categories appears. Many themes automatically generate categories archives, providing visitors with an organized way to explore. Of course, you can go all the way to all posts in here. Or sorry, uh, let's just go to pages as an example. Click on all pages and you can start going to random pages as an example and assign some posts to categories. You can find that on pages or even go back and you can do it on posts also. So go to posts, go to all posts and here you'll be able to find posts. Let's say example this one. And as you can see, the category of this one is an organ and categorize, sorry. So if you click on it, uh, or you can simply go and click on edit on this page to access it. So you will be able to edit the category of it as an example. So where you can edit the category, simply on this left panel, as you can see, you'll find categories in here. Just go and open that out and it's fine. You'll find this in, in categorize. This is come with default. You can simply go and put it on both of them as an example if you want to, or simply on the test alone. And of course you can select the primary category if you want to select both of them. So is it in categorize or test? For me, I'll just put a test. You can have even add more categories here right away before or without adding it uh, where I showed you before. So you can add it from here as an example. Give it a name. I'll just name it hello. Uh, parents category, I'll just... Uh, uh, you can add the parents category to it as an example. Let's say the parents category is test. And yeah. So once you add a new one, so simply click on it and... Of course, this is like the primary category, so let's just as it is. And this is, of course, once you add this, you'll be good to go. The name will be hello and etc. Once you save the changes, once you update everything, and of course, you can create as many as you want and assign them to your posts one by one. And when you go back, as an example, uh, cancel, let's just update this. Once it's updated, I will have to go back. You see as example so now let's just go back to our pages and as you can see now this uh, has text and in categories uh, in categorize and this one has just in category in categorize you can change this also if you want to and yeah we'll be good to go you'll be able to view all your categories here from posts click on all posts and you'll be able to see all your posts with the categories that they have and there you have it you successfully learned how to add categories create a new one and assign them to your posts in wordpress of course in 2024 so properly Utilizing categories can significantly enhance the organization navigation of your website and even increase your SEO ranking. So if you have any questions or there is a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to our channel for more head for tutorials like this one. And I'll see you in the next video. So thanks for watching and goodbye.